Howdy, folks. Got a little water on the lid there. <laughs> Today's uh, soap is brought to us from uh, Crown and Crane. The name of this one here is uh, Port Royal Bay Rum. It's a five ounce container, and I'll have a link down below for all the stuff that I'm using today. And um, that's what it looks like there on the inside. That's a pretty nice scent to it. Um, I don't think the clove, in other words, usually with the bay rum, there's clove involved, and some folks don't particularly care for the clove. The I don't feel that the scent right off the puck, or even lathering it up as far as that goes, I don't think the clove is over the top, or it's really not that evident, at least not per my nose. Uh, so if you're not a big clove fan, uh, this one here, in other words, might might work out pretty well for you. Um, like I say, I've got a link down below. Uh, the Rusty Razor, Rusty, he's the one that I saw a few of his videos a while back and uh, using uh, Crown and Crane and kind of got me interested in trying some of their soap out. So you're going to see a, a, a probably at least two uh, videos of their soap. But anyhow, this one here is the first one I decided to go with. And I got the uh, matching uh, aftershave bottle. I'll use this one here off camera. Um, I have used it also off camera <laughs> prior to this video. And uh, it, it's a pretty nice balm. And uh, for me... Uh, a little goes a long way. That's, yeah, that's probably the best way to put it. Oh, one thing I should point out also that I thought was pretty good. I like uh, that, the, how that squirts out right through there. So you can get a, uh, in other words, you can regulate how much you're getting out. It doesn't come out, you know, a whole lot at one time. Uh, I've got it whipped up here in a smooth bottom bowl. That's what it looks like there on the inside. I probably need to add just a little bit more water. But I've got it whipped up here with a uh, brush from Heritage Collection. This one here is a Barrett one. It's got a uh, 26 millimeter uh, badger knot, and it is, yep, pretty well lathered up there. I think I am going to add just a little bit more water to it. Um, it's thickened up a little bit since I started, I guess you might say, sorry, my prep. I already put a hot towel to the face this morning, and uh, in other words, in getting prep for the shave this morning. Uh, this is a really nice brush. Um, I have a Another one here, this one here is different than the Merit there in that it's a, a Carl Monk house. This one here is also, by the way, of uh, Heritage Collection. I just haven't decided on what knot I want to put in there. My first instinct is, to, my first reaction is just to put a cashmere knot in it, uh, 26 millimeter. And... Uh, but I'm not 100% sure that's exactly what I want to put in this one. Um, in other words, I was leaning maybe a bore. <laughs> I don't know. It also depends. You know, I, I might find a uh, horsehair knot that I want to put in there. But I got this one here without the knot because I couldn't make up my mind what I wanted in it. And uh, anyway, it's to me, this color combination is pretty cool. Nice combination. And plus, you know, if you have been keeping up with uh, some of the... Um, uh, goings on uh, around in the college world. This is uh, the uh, March Madness season and it's been kind of fun. I have not watched any games. Uh, I really don't follow college or professional basketball. Basketball's really not my thing. But it is interesting to uh, kind of halfway keep up with the because uh, uh, you know you have a number of uh, brackets that uh, uh, that are going on that people pick certain teams to win and when you have teams that are not expected to win win and continue to win <laughs> it makes for interesting stories so anyway in other words here locally oral roberts uh, i think won two the first two games and i'm not sure what's happened since then or even if they played since last time i heard about it at any rate it's just, you know, kind of fun when these sort of things, these teams that aren't expected to go very far do go, you know, uh, a bit further than expected. And and nobody, of course, you know, probably picked them to go as far as they did. And, um, you know, it seemed like not almost every year, but a number of years. In other words, every so often you'll have a team that will go, ex you know, further than expected. And it's, uh, I'm trying to remember, it's been a while since we've, 
I think a team, in other words, that was uh, rated kind of low on the totem pole uh, went quite a ways up into the bracket. But anyway, it's those sort of stories are fun to follow sometimes. Unexpected stuff. This uh, Phoenix Artisan accoutrements pre-shave soap is uh, this is Christmas Christmas cube, and still got the scent. <laughs> I can still smell it, which is pretty good for my nose. I guess the cube is about halfway gone now. Uh, I've had it for a little while. I've still I've been using it, and yeah, it's it's going to last a moment. Um, I have mentioned from time to time if you. Uh, if you're uh, not one that likes to have that all over your hands, matter of fact, yeah, let me get that off of there. Um, if you're not one that likes to get that all over your hands, you might like uh, uh, the one that comes in a tube. Man, it smells good. If you don't know if you're a fan of Bay Rum or not, this one here might be a good one to start with. Like I said, the, the bay rumish part of it I don't think is over the top. The clove is not real heavy. Um, it is a bay rum scent though. And there's many different versions of the bay rum scent. So uh, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements I think has got, I don't know what, three, four, five. Has a few that you can choose from as well as other folks that got an assortment of bay rum. And, as a matter of fact, I got another one coming up here pretty soon uh, from Captain Choice. And that one there does have clove. And I, if I remember right, my nose picked that up. So, like I say, if you're not a clove fan, um, in other words, uh, you may want to be kind of particular about which one you get. Shaver of the day. This one here um, I have used before. It came to me, by the way, of Stephen Sprague. This is what the, was referred to as a mingoose. In other words, back in the day... Uh, there used to be a mongoose uh, that was, I guess you might say, darn near every other post, shave of the day posting I remember seeing back in the day uh, was about mongoose. And that mongoose took, that head took uh, Feather Artist Club style blades. This one here takes a, uh, uh, an injector blade or a mini hair shaper blade. They're both the same blade, just different dispensers. And that's what I've got in this one here. Uh, this handle... Uh, Maggards used to carry this, and I think maybe they sold out of the head part of it, but they still have this handle that's readily available. Uh, there's a, and th it does, this one here, stainless steel, it packs some weight. So if you're interested in, in a handle like this, I think there's a couple of stainless steel and a couple of aluminum ones, and one of them I think is black. But uh, the aluminum ones are right around the $30 mark, and this one here I think is near 40 but it's got some weight behind it. So if you like heavier handles, uh, this one here is pretty nice. And the knurling there is pretty grippy. I'm going to get started here. But as you can kind of tell, the head's already got a preset angle for you. And if you follow that, for me, the shave goes pretty good. You'll have to watch, you know, let the weight of the razor, the sharpness of the blade do the work for you. Um, Otherwise, your shave may not go so well. <laughs> the blade feel is there. I don't feel that it's, uh, in other words, too aggressive or anything like that, but it is present. Uh, it kind of makes you pay attention to what you're doing, in other words. It, it's going to command a certain amount of attention. I did mention this before. And I'll, just in case you didn't see the last video. Matter of fact, the last video, if you look down the comments in the last video that I put out, the uh, brush I used was a vintage uh, century brush. Uh, I had sent it to uh, Frank at Strike Gold Shave. Uh, this would be back in 2018. And uh, he uh, refreshed it for me, put a new knot in it, made it look good. And I had uh, found the uh, video that he made. There's two videos where he's uh, showing what he, all he went through just to, in other words, get it refreshed. And 
if I remember correctly, those videos aren't too terribly long. In other words, to uh, redo a brush, some of these videos can be a little lengthy. Now, if I remember right, these aren't too terribly long. Maybe 10, 12 minutes each. It's There's two of them. And he talks about the uh, uh, what all he bought, where he bought it at. <clears throat> As it goes for like the gold lettering, how he got it. Uh, got the gold lettering down into the grooves and whatnot. And, and in other words, the process he used to get the knot out and all that sort of thing. And he does give you a show you what it looks like when I first sent it to him. He was uh, wanting a bit of a challenge, and to be honest with you, I don't think the video did the uh, brush justice. It was not in the best of shape. It was looking pretty sad. So for me, when the Heritage Collection started uh, rolling out these brushes like this, it is really hard for me to resist uh, not getting one because uh, I do have an appreciation for the, uh, the old brushes. The handles are, especially ones like this one here, uh, Carl Monkhaus. Uh, boy, I just really do like them. And uh, but it, so it is really hard for me to resist. It's not like I need another brush. <laughs> hey, you know, you know how it goes. You just you get hooked, and and I decided that maybe perhaps what I should be doing is, uh, I guess you might say, in a way of, uh, you know, you're paying homage and whatnot to. Uh, those uh, brush makers from days gone by and plus the fact that uh, to get one looking this nice that's been refreshed or whatever uh, usually it'll pay about this much for a new one anyway so uh, you gotta find the brush and these are easy to get a hold of um, there's a heritage collection has uh, their own website and then uh, you can also find them at west coast shaving and that's where i got the link down uh, down below as uh, from West Coast Shaving. And it's not uncommon to find a number of these brushes with knots as well as without. So if you're kind of like me and you want a particular kind of knot in it that's not being offered, uh, there's a little bit right there. Um, it's kind of nice to be able to find just be able to get just a handle. And I like that color combination. I've had my eye on it for a while. Uh, I think I'm getting closer. I, I need to, in other words, I want to make sure I do enough research that I don't find a horse hair knot that I like. At a price that I like. I have to say, for me, this is a pretty smooth shaver. I don't, like I say, the blade feel is there, but it's not overly aggressive or anything like that. You'll probably have to find in a buy, set, buy sell trade type situation. Like I said, because I haven't seen it in Maggards for a few months now. I say a few months. It's probably close to a year now. But at one point in time, it was on their website. And I think the going price might have... And I, it's been a moment, so my memory could be a little fuzzy, a little off. But the way I remember it is uh, maybe $140 is what it's selling for. But it's been out of production for a moment. So, uh, you know, how that is when something goes out of production, the price typically, especially if the, the supply is low and the demand is high, the price is going to go up. <laughs> now, for me, the uh, Persona blade works well for me. There is a shake blade and then there you have supply. Uh, now supply, I mentioned before in another video, and I think I was going to earlier in this one here, uh, got de my thoughts got derailed. Um, the um, supply is working on uh, developing their own blade, and uh, they're going to be sending me a blade sometime here soon. So I haven't quite decided exactly how I am going to do this. When I get this blade because I kind of feel compelled to do more than just one video with the blade sharing my experience and whatnot with it but it's uh, that I'm left with the impression they kind of do it did like Harry's did uh, found some uh, found somebody that had a uh, 
production, bought it, warehouse in other words, you know, with all the equipment and they're going to make their own blades. And um, so I think they're going to be tinkering around trying to figure out what works best for them in the way of a blade. And they're probably going to find that uh, just like uh, most other folks, our Feather Artist Club blades or style blades, Kai blades, there's more than one kind. And you're probably going to have to, in order to suit the masses, you're going to have to make more than one kind of blade to suit a number of people as opposed to just one blade. Uh, so I have a feeling that's going to be the case if you're going to make your razor popular. you got to have a blade that works well. More than one blade, in other words, that's going to work well for people. Because not everybody likes the Feather Artist Club Super. For me, the professional, which is the, I guess you might say, the next lace aggressive blade down on the Feather lineup. I tried and tried with that Feather Professional. I just couldn't get it to work for me. It was not a very smooth shave. Um, I really didn't like it at all. <laughs> but the Super, in other words, the most aggressive one that they've got in that style, it worked a whole lot better for me. But I know for a lot of people, that blade does not work well for them. So I'm kind of thinking that the same situation is probably going to apply with this one here. With an injector blade, if you're really going to hit the market, you're going to have to have more than one kind of blade. But it is awfully exciting to see this taking place. Trying to remember for sure, but I think the factory is in Germany. I got an email on it. I probably should have read it again before I started this. But it, for me, it's just real exciting to see somebody working on uh, developing another blade for the injectors. Because for me, injectors are fun to use. I enjoy using them. Uh, my son, he did a shave with the uh, Parker Adjustable uh, when I gave it to him. I, we were leaving, so I wasn't around when it happened, when he actually did the shave. But when I gave it to him, I set it on the lowest setting. And I noticed that when he got done, he had it on the highest setting. So uh, that should tell you something about that particular shaver. And the shave went well. So it's, in other words, it's very well possible for even somebody that's relatively new. My son shaves maybe once a month. <laughs> but uh, to be able to be able to use an injector and get a good shave no nicks weepers cuts or anything quite like that and to me that's a really important that a new shaver uh, especially like a young one like my son that doesn't shave very often is able to use an injector uh, blade as well as an injector and get a good shave and in other words not get scared off from it and to me that's that's pretty important i know for some people um in the past, you know, some of these real aggressive uh, uh, setups, you know, in other words, you know, some of the vintage shavers were a bit aggressive. And they tried one and it was aggressive and they didn't like it. So that was the end of that. Uh, never tried it again. And uh, to me, it'll be, you know, and I can see where Parker probably was going with, uh, with uh, their adjustable, trying to make it not real aggressive to where, you know, several different kinds of folks will be able to use it. Especially, in other words, even for the ladies, as mild as that shaver could be on the mildest setting, that uh, you can still get a good shave with an injector. I guess you might say I kind of appreciated it. You know, for some folks, it'd probably be a little bit too mild for the the guy that really likes injectors that's been shaving with the vintage ones. Got just a little bit of stinging on my neck, which is kind of expected with this particular shaver. Like I say, because you're busy talking, so you don't have a 100% focus on what you're doing. But if you're not real careful, you can get that pressure off just a bit. And boy, howdy, it's going to let you know at some point. We got the uh, Humphreys Witch Hazel. This one here is the Cucumber Melon, which just has just, a, I guess you might say, a mild cooling effect to it. I added some peppermint to it to give it a boost. <laughs> so 
so far this one here has done really well with the peppermint staying blended. Just enough peppermint there just to let you know that it's there. Not super cooling or anything like that. Sterling's glacial or anything quite like that. Nice cooling effect on the face. I like that. It's just one of my favorite things that I do enjoy. But like I said, if you're looking for one of these, you're going to uh, have to look at the buy, sale, buy, sell, trade. Um, whatever. This handle is really nice. I know this is probably not going to show just the real detail on the, the grippiness of that handle. That's what it looks like there on the underside. It's pretty straightforward. Post is a different in that it's hollow. It's got the typical, in other words, bars going across the bottom for an injector. And uh, there's the blade that's already trying to work its way loose. That's what the base plate looks like. And as it goes for the cap, uh, matter of fact, you might be able to see the print. If I can get it to focus, or maybe I can't, the light's going to wash it out. Mongoose is right there. That's pretty cool. I appreciate that sort of thing for me. I do. Uh, matter of fact, it's also, it is stamped in there. It's not laser printed where it might accidentally get rubbed off over the years. It's actually stamped in there. I really do enjoy this shaver. Boy, it, I get great shades with it. Very efficient for me. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay healthy, stay safe, and smooth shades to you.